So guys, on October 17th, we have a brand new season for Diablo 4. Today guys, I will bring you everything you need to know. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So literally guys, as I recorded this video, probably a couple of minutes ago, they dropped this over on their Twitter. Updates coming in Season of the Blood. Five endgame bosses, new and returning foes for additional endgame challenges, better target farming of uniques and uber uniques, renowned rewards. The rewards will carry over when completed on any prior character beyond Altars of Lilith and Map Discovery. Includes potion, charges, skill points, orbital cap upgrades and paragon points. But guys, there's more information which we're going to check out right now. Okay, so as we can see right here, the Season of the Blood is dripping into Sanctuary. Okay, so a fang threat uh, emerges from the shadows in our second season, Wondra. At Gamescom opening night live, which was actually today, uh, Diablo 4 development team announced Season of the Blood will begin on October 17th. At the behest of their Dark Master, a newly turned army of ravenous vampires has set their sights on Sanctuary. The Master's sinister plot remains a shrouded mystery, but their pursuit for the blood of innocence has caused an uproar. You must learn to hunt the hunter, your fate depends on it. Season of the Blood will introduce a new questline for you to uncover, vampiric powers to wield against their originators. Five additional endgame bosses with the ability to target farm unique and uber unique items as a drop and more. Like what? I mean, target farming? Uber uniques? This is something I believe the community has wanted from, well, the get go. This is absolutely massive, massive news. There's that image again, guys, right there. Okay, so additionally, we will introduce some community requested quality of life updates with Season of the Blood. More efficient inventory management for gems. Paragon points, skill points, potion charges, and orbital capacity upgrades will now carry over into a new season once achieved with an eternal or previous seasonal realm character. Changes to the functionality of status effects such as vulnerable, overpower, critical strike damage and also elemental resistances. Pretty cool. The updates in the above bullet and the ability to target farm specific unique and ultra unique items as a drop will be available in both seasonal and eternal realms. That is absolutely massive. So we have another image here. Uh, okay, so status effects. Updated elemental resistance systems, cool. Vulnerable overpower and critical strike damage updates. Gem and stash gems no longer take up inventory space. Well, stash can be searched and filtered. Pretty cool. That's what we like to see, people. Okay, so we have a trailer here, which uh, I can't actually play because I believe the music may, uh, well, copyright me on my channel, you know what I mean? But I will link it down below. I could play it in the background now on mute. It's not a gameplay trailer. I mean, it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's just like one of those beautiful looking, beautifully designed artwork cinematics, which is pretty cool. You don't really learn that much from it, but again, I'll link it down below within the video description. But yes, guys, yes, guys, yes, guys. Uh, okay, so it says watch the trailer to meet Eris, does that say? A vampire hunter who stalks these blood leeches throughout Sanctuary, voiced by actress and producer Gemma Chan. Nice. Okay, so what we've shared today is just a slice of what's in store for Wondrous in Season of the Blood. We'll share more details about Season of the Blood as we approach its release date, which again, guys, is... October 17th so actually not that far away whatsoever but it's looking pretty cool guys but that one change is absolutely unreal this is the best thing I could have heard there's no two which ways about it uber unique items as a drop target farming specific uber uniques that's going to be unreal it really is but yes guys seasons of blood and what we know of it so far tell me your thoughts down below looking forward to it well, let me know. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.